In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made the stone fake foam windows. In the second part after this video, we'll discuss on how we made the stained glass part of our windows. Here is the foam we're gonna be using to cover up these windows. So the whole point is to make it look like a castle. So the window here will be covered up and then I'm gonna cut a castle window into the foam and project from the back a rainstorm, but I'm also gonna make it look like a stained glass window as well. So that is what we'll be doing today. The story of my life. Let's try this again. Okay, so here is the plan. And the hardest part is curves. I suck at cutting curves, but we'll try my best. And I'm gonna make one for this window and one for that window. It's, it's so hot, my um, camera stopped working. It froze up. Um, so I'm using my phone now, but you have to use geometry and you have to use math. And all that time when we were in high school, we think I'll never use this. Well, I had to use it right now all these measurements and trying to get the curve perfectly centered and the same on each side and it was just a challenge at least for me i know some people have better talents in math i have talents in other things but um i think we got it so both of them are done and the next thing is going to cut it out but i'm going to wait till tomorrow morning when it's a lot cooler came out and brought my foam outside and it started to rain again It's like a glove. Perfect. Okay, so that's one just popped right in there. And you might think, how are you gonna keep it to stay there? Well, double stick tape and at the bottom and at the top, I'll have some little tabs that will just keep it in place there. Where do you think you're going? Penny, Penny, get back in the yard. Keep going. Get back in the yard. Go. Go. Good girl. Anyways, so now we are going to add some stonework to it. Some details around the window and paint it and it will be done. And then we're going to do the stained glass window after that. I bought myself a new Ryobi tool because it came with batteries. It was a Ryobi day sale and I needed batteries for these new speakers I got, which are super cool. So I'm gonna be using this new tool for my stonework in the windows. So here it is. I am, um, haven't even used it yet. So I thought this might work. I have other tools, but I really wanted to try this. It's something new. I haven't done it before. Super excited. Um, I have arthritis, so I thought maybe this would be a little lighter or maybe it would help me. I'm multitasking. I'm doing laundry as we speak because that's almost more of my full-time job. Penny, get out of the garage. You're always in here. Get out. Out. Two castle walls done and one battery. Not bad at all. Uh, this thing is amazing. It does get hot and my hand got a little sore and it's just because I have an injury. But other than that, this thing rocks. 
<laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to do is blow torch it to give it some texture. And let's see. That's it. So. Oh, shoot. Now we have to put all the little stone edges on it, which that's what this is for. So it's just going to line the thing like that. And then it's going to go all the way around just to give it some depth. Um, and those are all left over. So after I put those on, then we'll torch it. But um, you get an idea so far. Those are all organic, made-up lines. All right, the next step we're going to do is take these wire brushes and kind of shape the stones. This is um, a technique from Derek over at Van Oak Props, and I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video so you can see what I'm doing. I'm pretty much using his technique the best I can to make these um, stone walls. And um, like I said, this isn't really a DIY project here video. It's just me making castle walls <laughs> or window walls, castle window walls. Anyways, um, so that's the next project. It's going to create more foam. So I have the shop back there and I'm going to work in the shade. So here is what it's starting to look like. It's pretty cool. Gives it a little bit more of a rounded texture. I could get it in those grooves and kind of just shape it up here, which makes Especially these parts here where I messed up. I'll, I'll fix that up. And um, my son's going to follow me with the vacuum and we're just going to get this done. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's do it. So what I do is I take my black and then I put it in the cracks, like so. I keep it kind of heavy when I get it in all the nooks and crannies. So after I put the black in the cracks, like so, and I've done this on my old mausoleum, so you can see me do that there too. I just, I really like this technique, how it turns out. And it's okay if you drip the paint, you know, if, if you if you got a little drip somewhere, it's okay. Totally fine. And I apologize for the air conditioning in the back. If I turn it off, I will kill my family, so I'm just going to let it run. All right, so then after you do that, you take your gray and I could probably put some water in this and thin it out a little bit but take your gray and then you roll over and it kind of just blends it in pretty cool looking you get some light spots some dark spots and the little places you can't 
reach. You just fill it in with an airbrush later or a paintbrush, either or. And then that's how I'm doing it. So I'm just gonna keep at it. Keep doing that same thing over and over again. And I'm gonna get all these walls. It's too hot. It's like 98 today. So I'm gonna start early in the morning tomorrow, but I'll do the touch-ups um, another day. I think it's time for me to go inside before I have heat stroke. I'll do those walls tomorrow. Look at what I got you, Max, on these hot, hot days. I got you ice cream with pumpkin in it. Do you want that? Yeah? Okay. Lay down, lay down. This video is getting quite long, so I broke it up in two parts. Be sure to watch the next part where I make the stained glass windows and we put them together with these windows that we made out of foam. Uh, thanks for watching and stay spooky, my friends. <laughs>